Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm making myself a delicious smoothie, so I decided to share my recipe with you guys. I'm going to be making um, um, South African tag, so I thought, hey, maybe I should have a little comfort drink food, drink food, drink food, <laughs> while I'm doing tag. So I'm going to show you how I make my delicious smoothie. Ingredients that you're going to need. Well, the ingredients that I use to make my smoothie. So I normally um, take my um, yogurt. This is drinking yogurt. Uh, it's the vanilla flavor, and I freeze it into ice cubes because I like my smoothie a bit frozen. And I'm gonna add my favorite um, ice cream uh, by a brand called Tiggy Hill. Uh, of a flavor black raspberry. Um, that will be, <laughs> um, yeah, it will add some sweetness to my to my smoothie. Even though the even though the drinking yogurt is a bit sweet. Even though they say it it doesn't have any uh, fat and sugar, but it's still. Uh, sweet to my taste. And anyway, I love sweet things. And I'm gonna use these frozen fruits, um, some berries. Oh god, blackberries, raspberries, all kinds of berries. Uh, it's a, um, yeah, a berry cocktail called Frutos del Bosque by Minuto Verde and some. <laughs> frutillas, some strawberries. So basically now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put some ice cubes in here first then uh, blend them a bit. So let's do that. Now if your um, frozen yogurt is stuck to your tray it won't come out. Just run the tray underneath the water on the back side and they'll just pop out when you, when you bend the tray. So I'm going to add these to the uh, blender, I don't know, because I'm, I'm going to make enough for two. As my husband said, <laughs> he wanted to taste them, so I'm going to use about, I have nine ice cubes in here, um, yeah, yeah, let me just use ten for now and see how it goes. It's gonna get a bit noisy, so <laughs> sorry about that. So I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, drinking yogurt, uh, yeah, to get it uh, going a bit, so it can be a bit smoother. Let's see. 
I'm just gonna pulse it slowly until it's all meshed up together and then go full power. Okay. As you can see, the gradient change in the Taking the color, the yogurt is taking the color of the well, it looks absolutely mixed together. So now, what I'm going to do is take my favorite ice cream, put two, three scoops in there, then I'm gonna add um, some more drinking yogurt to make it uh, a bit uh, slushy so I can be able to drink it um, from my sippy cups. I'm gonna put one in here for my husband and this one will be for me because it's the biggest. Yes, I'm greedy. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ice cream so I'm going to take about two to three full scoops and add it maybe I should do it like converse so it's not difficult for it to mix I don't know if you can, the camera is picking it up, but you can see the two tones of the smoothie as the ice cream is mixing into it. I'm just gonna put it in the effect right in there and just, just a little bit. ice cream I've eaten since I've been here to Chile and it's very hard to find the kind of ice cream that I like here in Chile because they have like different taste buds or something. Down and record a South African take for you guys. shirt on the wrong day <laughs> so let me show you how it looks oh, sorry about that this is how it looks so I'm gonna pour it in those sippy cup things I love these anytime I see one I'm gonna buy one I'm gonna take this one. Right. I'm gonna
looks so yummy. Um, I have to say that uh, this smoothie is inspired by my favorite smoothie from um, Boost called Festival Festival de Berries. So, I really, 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 really love that smoothie. So I decided to try and do my own at home because honestly, who can afford to buy a smoothie every day? Those things are expensive. So I'm gonna just add water in here. So so it could be easy for me to wash this later. And send through this into the bin. So this is my smoothie. So gonna take you to sit down and record a video, another video for you guys. And this one is for my husband. So I don't know if I should put it in the freezer or the bottom. So I'm just gonna put it in the freezer now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial because I certainly going to enjoy this baby. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Cheers!